Hello friends, welcome to today's episode where we're going to be looking at some Pokemon news and things going on in the Pokemon world this week. So, kicking off with the first thing on the list is going to be a, a tweet that the uh, Nintendo of America Twitter account threw out earlier on today in regards to Tetris 99. So, for those of you that don't know, if you've got an online subscription, Nintendo online subscription, you can get Tetris 99 for free. And uh, this weekend, they are going to be running a Pokemon Sword and Shield theme event so you can see it is going to be running from friday the um 16th of october until monday the 19th um and all you need to do is collect i believe 50 event points throughout this event and you'll unlock the uh returning uh, pokemon sword and shield in-game theme so that that's kind of cool and nice for you pokemon fans out there obviously myself being a pokemon fan uh would probably like this theme i do enjoy tetris 99 uh, it's not something i play like religiously anymore but it's always something fun to play and if i've got nothing else to do kind of kill some time online so that event is running if you want that custom theme all you need to do is take part from anywhere between Mon uh, friday and monday this coming weekend uh collect 50 uh event points and you'll be able to get this theme so when you play tetris 99 you'll be able to have this theme on in the background have pokemon sword and shield everywhere so that's pretty exciting and uh, something that you might have missed so uh it'll be worth taking part just for the theme i feel uh okay other news what are we looking at we also have a big tournament running this weekend an online tournament which is the battle of legends tournament uh, registration is actually still open for this tournament so it will close tomorrow with the tournament starting uh, tomorrow night depending on your time zone uh, we're running from friday to sunday evening uh, for most places you can check out the time zone where it's running uh, if you register in game so uh, compete in the battle of legends online tournament it is a, a double tournament but it's got a slight twist on it so it's not your generic vgc kind of tournament so get ready to face some of the most powerful opponents when you take part in the battle of legends online competition pokemon sword and shield this competition allows each trainer to have one legendary or mythical pokemon on their battle team so prepare to test your metal against the likes of mewtwo lunala zacian uh, zamazenta obviously in there as well uh, a bunch of pretty much all of the legendary and mythical pokemon that are in in sword and shield currently uh, you can pick one of those to use in your team and um, so uh, you will get uh, by competing in at least one battle so if you guys don't want to actually compete in it but you want to get some free battle points as well you can take part in it complete one battle and you will get the gift of 50 battle points uh, when they get distributed after the event finishes so the sign up period like I said is from Wednesday September the 30th so a little while ago and um, until uh, Thursday the 15th of October which will be tomorrow at 4 59 p.m. PTD so just be aware of that your time zone if you're not in that time zone will vary so just check that out and make sure if you do want to take part you sign up before the 15th uh, to register the competition you'll need to go in steps but i tell you what we will do i'll be able to show you exactly how you can do it in game so why don't we just jump over into our game okay so once you're in your game you're coming to your menu screen you're coming into battle stadium here on your nintendo switch just come down to the online competition menu and search for online competitions and uh, there we'll see the uh, the battle of legends masters division um, you can see just click into it it'll take you through a few bits of information here so your time seven minutes total time 20 minutes battle time and you can play 15 battles per day which will tally up to 45 battles for the entire weekend you don't need to play all 15 each day you can play one on the friday one on the saturday and then you could if you wanted to play the remaining 43 games on the sunday not advisable playing that many games all at once though so uh, once you're through here you just click through again it'll take you through a bit of information and do you want to enter this competition enter it will just check your details and you'll be entered into the tournament so uh, when the tournament actually begins um, you'll come in to participate in an official tournament. It'll check the status and you'll be able to lock a team in for that event and then start battling. Unfortunately, it's not started yet. You can see competition period starts on the 16th and runs to the 19th. So that is how we do that in game. So that is the Battle of Legends tournament. You can see down here at the bottom, these are all the, the legendary and mythical Pokemon that we're going to be able to use this weekend from Mewtwo, Mew, Celebi, Jirachi, Reshiram, Zekrom, Kyurem, Keldeo, Cosmog, 
uh, Cosmoam, if I'm saying that right, Sogaleo, Lunala, Necrozma, Magina, uh, Magina, or Magina, however we're pronouncing it, you know the one I'm talking about, the real Mega Mobile. Um, Marshadow, Zero Aura, Melton, Melmetal, uh, Zacian, Zamazenta, Eternius, and Zarud. So they're all available for you to use. You can only use one of them in your team. Um, and that is that. Unfortunately, I will not be around this weekend to participate in this tournament, which I'm actually really sad about because I think it would be a lot of fun. But if you are competing, good luck and uh, let me know after the tournament down in the comments how you're getting on or if you're planning on playing it as well and the final bit of news that we're going to be covering today that is going on at the minute in the pokemon world is the ash cap pikachu event that is currently running we have had four of these ash cap pikachus already released i've been posting the codes over in the community section of our, um, our channel and uh, you can get all the all the codes for all the pikachus there that the event's actually running until the 30th of November so all of the codes are valid until the 30th of November so you can grab these special event Pikachus with the Ash Caps. So we've had the original cap, the partner cap, horn cap and the Sinnoh cap with the next cap which is the Kalos cap I believe coming out on the 16th so a couple of days time uh, that one will be revealed and again I'll be putting the code up on our community section of the channel so just keep an eye on that if you want the codes or a reminder and uh, you'll be able to get those as they come out but these are the codes so far for the caps that are available the pikachus that are available unfortunately you can't gigantamax these pikachus i really wish they'd actually allowed us to do that uh, and it would have made them a bit more fun to use definitely on the online rank ladders and things like that but unfortunately not able to g max but nice and all to have for the collection so that about wraps everything up for what's going on at the minute uh with this sort of content as well this is something that i want to try and keep on top of and kind of any news relevant stuff that's going on in the pokemon world uh especially video game stuff i'm going to try and keep on top of so if you enjoy this sort of content um please remember to drop a like if you have enjoyed it on the video and uh, if you're considering it do subscribe to the channel we do content like this we've got vg content as well which is the video game championship content and we do a bunch of guides and with crown tundra literally around the corner uh, we've got a lot planned for the channel so a lot's going on over the next month and very very hype about crown tundra so um i'm gonna sign off there friends thank you so much for tuning in today i hope you are well uh, i have went a little bit over the time that i thought i would but um nevertheless all fun and lots going on this coming weekend and uh, that is a follow so whoever that is following us on over on our twitch channel thank you so much i need to turn those notifications off when i'm doing these videos but thank you guys take care of yourselves have a great one and i'll catch you all for the next one so until then take care bye, -bye.